Let's examine some intriguing financial news that has been circulating about the MC. The Federal Reserve and a few well-known banks buckle up things are about to get interesting. If you're new here, make sure to hit the bell to subscribe to the channel, enable post notifications, and enter our giveaway to ensure you don't miss any of our uploads. However, keep in mind that this isn't a video offering financial advice. First and foremost, the Federal Reserve has made it very apparent to regulators that they need to be ready for potential clearinghouse failures. Clearinghouses function as backstage operations the Fed is warning regulators to get ready for the collapse of these clearinghouses. As guardians of the financial system, they guarantee trade completion between buyers and sellers in a manner similar to that of market makers like Citadel. Some people may laugh at this news and write it off as scaremongering, but there's more to the tale than meets the eye at this crucial moment. Dodge's bullet for debt default. Let's change the focus to MC Entertainment. The company was facing an impending deadline in 2026, but instead of frantically trying to renegotiate, its lenders gave the company a lifeline by extending the debt maturity. This is a huge development that effectively disproves the short thesis that MC was in danger of going bankrupt. AMC is has taken calculated steps to enhance its financial position and demolish debt, such as canceling a revolving credit line and paying off the outstanding balance. By doing this, AMC can concentrate on strengthening its finances and making a profit. The story of an MC in need of an urgent cash infusion due to a capital gains tax hike disguised disguised as a squeeze. Now, let's address the big issue the recent increase in capital gains tax by President Biden to an astounding 46%. Some investors are making assumptions about a possible link between this and the AMC crunch. This is how the hypothesis of the tax rise works. But here's the catch. What if this tax hike is really a cunning plan to redistribute wealth from hedge funds and big money interest back to retail investors? After all, these same hedge funds have been accused of manipulating the market through short selling. Could this be a calculated move to level the playing field? The government wants to take a chunk of change from retail investors who have been holding an MC since 2021 and would now fall under this higher tax bracket. While UBS prepares for the impact of layoffs and a liquidity crunch, OBS, a significant Swiss bank, is facing a grave situation. Keep in mind that the entire credit crisis is tobacco-related due to toxic debt and derivatives. This drastic measure aims to cut costs by a staggering $10 billion. Analysts believe this is a desperate attempt to stay afloat amidst the financial turmoil. The bank is bracing for a series of layoffs that could impact up to 35, triple zero employees globally. While the fallout seems to be hitting ups hard. Here's the connection to the AMC squeeze. OBS is probably holding some of the same bad assets associated with credit say short selling activity in order to manage these obligations and possibly help with the squeeze. OBS is hoarding cash because the Swiss government has ordered them to maintain an extra $27 billion in reserves. This cash infusion is essential to weathering the storm. Interestingly, the head of the company expressed concerns about these higher capital requirements, suggesting a more serious problem. Inside the credit sized business model, in yet another intriguing development, the CEO of Trump Media seeks short sellers. In a letter to Congress, Devin Nunes, the CEO of Trump Media, expresses concerns about naked short selling and specifically blames Citadel and Verdue Financial for manipulating the market. These accusations are not new, but coming from a well-known person like Devon Nunes gives them more weight. Nevertheless, it adds another level of intrigue to the ongoing market drama. So there you have it. Folks, a potent cocktail of factors brewing in the financial world, a cautious Fed, a resilient AMC, a dubious tax increase, accusations of short selling, and struggling ups we'll find out in time, but one thing is certain, retail investors are at the forefront of the battle for market justice. That's all we have for you today. What do you think about MC stocks? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.